Hello, once again, this is another probability practice free response question, unit four in the CED of AP Statistics and chapters five and six in the practice of statistics updated sixth edition textbook. This specific problem is from 2013, free response number three, and you can see a bitly link to a scoring guideline if you want to try it on your own and check the scoring guideline. Here we go, guys. Um, again, so you can read the question here, try it on your own and check the scoring guideline first if you choose, uh, or you could try it and check along with the video. Uh, each full carton of grade A eggs consists of one randomly selected empty cardboard container and 12 randomly selected eggs. The weights of such full cartons are pro approximately normally distributed with a mean of 840 grams and a standard deviation of 7.9 grams. A. What is the probability that a randomly selected full carton of grade A eggs will weigh more than 850 grams? So here it looks like you got your classic normal distribution. Uh, so, you know, that's we got a normal curve problem we're going to have to do. We're going to make sure we define our inputs while we're working through that. And then part B, the weights of the empty cardboard containers have a mean of, oh, empty, not the full ones, have a mean of 20 grams and a standard deviation of 1.7 grams. It is reasonable to assume independence between the weights of the empty cardboard containers and the weights of the eggs which is important if you want to combine random variables. It is also reasonable to assume independence among the weights of the 12 eggs that are randomly selected for a full carton. Uh, so we got two questions to answer from that. Let the random variable x be the weight of a single randomly selected grade A egg. What is the mean of x? And what is the standard deviation of x? So we got a lot going on here. Um, but let's start with part A. What is the probability that a randomly selected full carton, all right, so full carton, of grade A eggs weigh more than 850 grams. Uh, nothing that you haven't done. This is this is going back to unit one, doing the normal curves. What you want to do on this problem is you want to sketch out a normal curve. Always sketch it out, okay? Um, just kind of make sure that you you do a rough sketch. Capital N. You can put your your mean. You know your mean here is going to be um, 840, and your standard deviation is going to be 7.9. You just do that n uh, 840 comma 7.9 that'll take care of your parameters and then go here and just kind of copy that 840 again and let's answer the question um the question says what's the probability it's going to be greater than um oops uh more than 100 uh, 850. so what i gonna do is i kind of want to just kind of eyeball where 850 might be it's not that big of a deal you can you can estimate it and since it's going more than we're going to go to the right so we're going to put an 850 there, and then we're going to calculate this. And in this case here, we're going to use a normal, you can do a z-score or a normal CDF. I like a normal CDF. So I'll go ahead and write normal CDF, and you can write normal CDF on these problems. And you're going to define your lower, your upper, um, your mean standard deviation. So your lower, upper, uh, your mean, and your standard deviation. And you're going to put those in. Now in your calculator, your lower value, since 850 is on the left, That'll be your lower value. There is no upper limit. So you just want to make sure your, your upper limit is a very, very high number. And so we'll write infinity because it's going to go on forever. Um, your mean is going to be 840. Um, and then your standard deviation is going to be 7.9. So that's going to be what you're going to put input in there. And then again, we're trying to find the, the probability that uh, a full carton is greater than 850. So when we kind of write our probability statement, then we've already kind of defined what we're going to input into normal normal CDF. So dig out that calculator. And you're going to hit second vars, normal CDF. Always use CDF for normal, lower being 850, upper being a very large number. I like 1E99, second comma will get you that E. Just basically 1 times 10 to the 99th power, um, 840 for your mean, and 7.9 for your standard deviation. And that'll give you the answer. And you can approximate it to maybe four decimal places. So uh, 0 0.102788. So I'll say maybe 0 0.1028. And uh, it, it just wants to know the probability. It's not really asking for an interpretation. So I'll leave that be.
0 0.1028, and that takes care of part A. All right, for part B, the weights of the empty cardboard containers have a mean of 20 grams and a standard deviation of 1.7 grams. It is reasonable to assume independence between the weights of the empty cardboard containers and the weights of the eggs. It is also reasonable to assume independence among the weights of the 12 eggs that are randomly selected for a full carton. Let the random variable x of the weight of a single randomly selected grade A egg. What is the mean of x? What is the standard deviation of x? So let's, let's focus on the mean first, okay? So for the mean, I want to think of this problem as, um, well, I, I think of, in terms of the means, uh, I know that the mean of the, I'll just write the word full, that should equal, that should equal the mean of the empty plus the mean of the, uh, the, the 12 eggs, but there's 12 eggs, right? And they give you like the individual or, or they're, they, they don't give you, they want to know the individual uh, mean for that, right? So it's like 12 multiplied by uh, the mean of the egg. And in this case here, it says, let the random variable X be the weight of a single randomly selected egg. So I'll call that X, okay? And so if you think about, well, we, we actually have um, these two guys right here. We got the mean of the full. That's up in the, the, the stem of the problem, right? It's going to be 840 um, grams, right? So we got 840. And we got the mean of the empty. That's up here, right? 20 grams. So it, it's really just like you're solving in an algebraic equation, right? You're going to subtract the 20 from the 840, and then you're going to divide by 12. Um, so if you take away that 20, um, it's going to be 820 uh, times the mean of x. And 820 divided by 12. Let's see. 820 divided by 12. Looking at about 68.33. So the mean of X is 68.33 grams, okay? And it's as simple as that. That's actually just some basic algebra, um, but you just gotta know what you're, what you're solving for. In this case, you're solving for the one individual egg. And we can do that because remember, we can multiply um, and add two means um, that'll, that'll change those values. And let's look at part, uh, part, uh, Two, I guess. I don't know if it's II or RI or whatever. Uh, it says, what's the standard deviation of X? Now, with standard deviations, we cannot add and subtract from standard deviations. We have to, we have to incorporate their variances, okay? So with this problem right here, um, the, oh, uh, the way that we want to work that one out, oops, I went too far. Here we go. Um, is we want to... We want to think about the standard deviations like, uh, let's see, we got the, the standard deviation of full squared, okay, equals the standard deviation of the empty carton squared plus, now we have, we have, 12 eggs, right? So we have we have all these individual standard deviations. Uh, we'll call it standard deviation of x. That's your that's your individual egg squared plus your standard deviation of x squared. Now, how many of these do we have? We got 12 of them, right? 12 eggs. Now, we're not going to sit here and do this um, 12 times, right? So the better way to do that is just standard deviation of full squared equals standard deviation of empty squared plus 12 times the standard deviation of that individual egg squared. Now, again, we have those standard deviations, right? We have, um, we have the, we have the standard deviation of the full. It's 804, uh, sorry, 7.9. We have the standard deviation of the empty. It's 1.7. Uh, we know there's 12 eggs and we're solving for this. So again, we got to use our calculator, right? We're going to do 7.9 squared. Let me move this over here. A little algebra. So we got 7.9 squared minus 1.7 squared. 
that's equal to 12 times the standard deviation of x squared. Remember, x is the individual egg. So it looks like we're going to basically do that uh, first. Let's do 7.9 squared minus 1.7 squared. Y'all do that, please. And I'm getting 59.52. Now I got to divide that by 12. So if you hit divide by 12, I'm looking at 4.6, 4.96, excuse me. So that means the variance, not the standard deviation, the variance of an individual egg is 4.96. So the standard deviation of that individual egg is the square root of that. And that is going to be about 2.8. Two two seven grams. So the standard deviation of an individual egg is about two point two two seven grams, and that's how you do it, folks. Okay, you just got to be careful with those standard deviations. Square and add, square and add, square and add. It's like Pythagorean theorem. Remember, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we do not just add those together. All right. Thank you for watching. Signing off.